Right now, Rumkey is investigating a cyber attack. They don't believe there's any impact to their services or their customer's safety, but the situation is being monitored. Brady Williams joins us after talking with a tech expert. Now, according to the ransomware reporting website Halcyon, this was a ransomware attack conducted by Hunters International. That's a cyber attack group. We are told that these kind of attacks can work two different ways. One is that they go in and encrypt data so it's unusable, and the other is they hold personal information hostage. The longer they can run the ransomware, the more systems they can impact, the more likely you are to want to pay. Fox 19 tech expert Dave Hatter says ransomware looks to extort money from a business by holding their computer systems or sensitive information hostage. Its basic goal is to encrypt the data on any systems it can reach because once they get encrypted, then they're not usable. He says a group will ask for money to undo the encryption, and if the company refuses, that's when they'll start leaking information. And these folks, unfortunately, are pretty despicable. There have been numerous well-documented instances where, like, a school district or a hospital gets hit with ransomware. They're not going to pay because they can restore their systems, and then they start to release data like the mental health records of children. Ransomware reporting website Halcyon reported that the tri-state's largest sanitation company, Rumpke, was hit with ransomware by the group Hunters International. When we reached out to Rumpke to confirm this report, they provided a statement that they're aware of a cybersecurity incident and they're working with forensic experts to investigate. The report claims that the group stole 3.3 terabytes of data. 3.3 terabytes, if that's right, is a lot of data. It would be interesting to know what's in there. But, you know, to your point, it's not a hospital. It's not a school. You know, if, it's, if it contained things like credit cards, social security numbers, that would make it more problematic for you as a consumer. According to Rumpke, customers are safe. They say their service is unaffected, and they do not believe any personal information about their customers has been impacted. Hatter says incidents like this are a good reminder that people should do what they can to protect themselves, smaller businesses as well. If you don't have good backups, if you can't restore your data, um, you know, you may or may not survive an attack like this. We received that initial statement from Rumpke last week. Now, we reached out again Tuesday morning to see if there was any update. They say there's not. They still believe that your personal information should be safe. In Covington with photojournalist Jared Darwish, Brady Williams, Fox 19 Now.